Hi, my name's Sarah and I'm the NCOP liaison coach at East Sussex College. I manage the peer coaching scheme at the college. This involves recruiting peer coaches, so I interview um, and recruit the students. I then organise their training and run the training sessions for them. I then match up the peer coaches with students that want to be coached and essentially I mentor them as coaches. When I was looking to get peer coaching, I was thinking it might be quite just a person sitting in front of you making you go through test paper after test paper. I felt a bit awkward for asking to help, for asking help, I mean. I felt a bit dumb. Uh, what, will, what will my friends think about it, about this? If you're struggling in a particular subject or just want to take your work from a good level to an even better level, then that's what the peer coaches are there for, to give you that extra boost, that extra bit of confidence for you to feel secure in the grades that you want to achieve. Really, it's for anyone who just wants to make their grade a bit better. It doesn't have to be you're getting fails in that class. You can be getting C's and you want to push yourself harder. Usually it can just be one hour a week, but I have had cases where students have asked me if we could do two hour sessions to get the most, or we could just do three hours a week. And that's absolutely fine, which is what's so great about this scheme. It just works really well, personalized to the student and the mentor. You do get paid for your time, so you're not um, giving up your time for free and it's all worked around your timetable so it's really easy to do. I feel I can just ask whatever silly questions I might not want to ask the teacher. The best thing that worked well for me was the different way that I learned how to revise but I learned through Tom that you can make mind maps, you can build these massive sheets with all the relevant information that you actually need. You get a great satisfaction out of helping people and tutoring them along the way and you get to see their progress which I think is really important. It also helps you think about your own productivity and kind of areas you can improve in yourself. We ask quite a lot of our peer coaches. It's quite, it's a bit of an unusual role. They're not teachers and they're not there to be their friend. They're kind of in between. Working with someone who's your peer but maintaining some boundaries and professionalism is quite a tricky thing. They've all said they've increased in confidence. They are more resilient, they say, to dealing with things, dealing with problems. They've all said that it's helped their own studies because they're going back over work that they've done before. So the skills I've gained being a peer coach are much more confident, I have more people skills, talking to people. It was also a great way to identify what I didn't know about the subject I was teaching so that I could go back and revise. When I communicated it, it really made it more concrete in my own mind, which was a really great way of learning it more thoroughly myself. It's a really rewarding experience to be a part of somebody else's journey through their A-levels or their GCSEs. When my students text me and say, oh, I just did my exam and I could answer question three because we did that the other day. To watch their confidence and their trust in their own abilities grow is something really lovely to know that you've been a part of. I would recommend being a peer coach to everyone that I know because I think it's really important in terms of skills. It really enhances your skills as a people's person and it teaches you so many things about time management and resources and really helps you further your education even more and go higher and higher. You know, you have to put time into it yourself and you have to be willing to give up time to go and learn. But if you're not willing to give up time to learn, then why are you going to college? You have to revise anyway. Why not revise and gain so much more when you're doing that than you would just sitting in front of a book at home?